and it's Tite to throw first for the ball. It's outside the ball. That's further outside the ball, so it's Tite to throw first. First leg, D to the row first, game on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for our next match. And it's the number two seed, the legend and two-time one more World Masters champion, the heart of darts, Dita Hedman. 100. And she takes on Veronica Simonson of Norway. And a change in the commentary box. I'm still here, but Nick has departed. And I am joined 100. by referee extraordinaire and Dutch hero, Marco Meyer. Good afternoon. How are you, Anthony? I'm very well, mate. How are you? I'm all good. Just had a long match, but sometimes you have a 4-0, and sometimes you do the complete seven legs. Absolutely. And I was the lucky one who did all seven. <laughs> 85. And a first time on stage for Christian Sorensen, our referee. Man of Denmark. 26. He also refed a couple of games in Spain in the Europe Cup a couple mm. of weeks ago. And he was in charge of the official team. It's, yep. not a, it's not his first WDF stuff. He also does, the, for a couple of years, the Europe Cup youth now. Yes, indeed. He knows his way around the darts tournament, does Christian. 85. This game is from Group AB. Forty-three. Dita won her first match against Sharon Stratsma Pool. That's correct. Boom. You're doing well in the Dutch names. Thank you. So thank you well. Four-two win for Dita in that match. Veronica also started with a win in her match as she beat Haley McKay or McKay. I'm not sure 76. exactly what the pronunciation there for, of Canada. Four legs to nil. So this is. First and second in the group taking on each other, and it is Veronica who's first in the group, courtesy of her 4 0 win. 81. Dita, you require 155. But Dita, 155 first to the finish after 12 darts. 60 should be the first target. Can't finish it on this occasion, but we'll just try and leave herself a manageable two darts. And she does indeed. 74 left when she returns. Veronica back on 2 5 1. 93. Well, Veronica is leaving the finish here. Your Dita goes first on 74. So I guess it's trouble 14 first. I would agree with that, yes. And indeed it is. So for double 16 and a 1 0 lead, double 8. 66. Not to be this time. So Veronica with a Veronica, you chance at 158. And again, not to be this time. 55. Detail you require 8. So double 4 for the Heart of Darts. Oh, she's bust. No school. And you may you require see that Dita is sporting a cast on her left wrist. That was due to a fall a few weeks ago. Sorry to interrupt you, but double 12 for a 103 double 12 finish. indeed. Oh. 91. She just missed it. Dita, you require eight. That will be a great finish mm. to steal the lack. The pressure really on Dita now. Double two. Oh, I think she thought it was in for a second. Six. Veronica, you require 12. So double six for Veronica. Ah, 
I think Games it's in. The first yes, place. yes. <laughs> Simonsen. Christian checked it and it was in. Well, Christian did the right thing there. The had to throw first. Obviously, the, the view was impaired by the first start from the referee's side. So instead of just jolting your head forward to make sure if it's in, you wait for the the player to question you and uh, uh, is that in then you look and you say yes yes it is yeah that's what's happening 76. a lot with amateur darts in the local pub mm. that people are going to move and so one advice for all the markers stand still yeah exactly that <laughs> that's the only thing they need to do it happened to me i can't remember what tournament it was maybe at british open i think i was refereeing for lot no, 60 wasn't british open. whatever it was refereeing for laura turner and she threw a dart at the double and I thought it was in and just automatically my head went forward. And <laughs> Laura's ready to throw her next dart. You're having a dance at yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think all the referees had that a couple of times. Yeah. But for all the markers and probably all the dart players, <laughs> most of them mark more than they play, <laughs> stand still and wait when the player reacts or asks or... That's a, 140. Good, that's a good score from Dita here. Indeed. Well, some Anthony is checking the results at the moment. Are some yep, shocking or good results at the moment? There's me and Nick were talking about uh, Eileen de Graaf, who has survived that match against Anna Madigan. Both ladies had match darts in the final leg, but Eileen did come through by four legs to three, so still alive in the tournament. It would be safe to say that a defeat for Eileen there would have all but eliminated her from the competition. And Kazilstra looks like she is qualifying through. She has two from two, having defeated Sandra Squires by four legs to nil, and then Anya Springborg Larsen of Denmark by four legs to two. Yeah, if we carry 45. on next, Wendy Harper from New Zealand won both of her games. Yep, Wendy Harper, a great player from New Zealand, four nil and four one in her matches, so she looks to be going through it. You can pronounce that one. Well, Kirsty Hutchinson. Uh, no. No, that's the next seat we were talking about. She won the first leg against the Belgian Sandra van Hornig, but she lost 4-1 to Daisy Gill from Holland. Who has won two out of two and looks to be qualifying. So Kirsty has to play really well in the last match to go through to the group. 100. Indeed. Suzanne Smith Did of England. 80. Two victories in her matches so far. Nicole Renault is playing her second match as we speak. What an average she played in the first one. Yep, I still think that's the highest average we've had. Bo Greaves in her second match should have had the highest average. She was 3-0 up, as we said, averaging 110. 60. And ended up averaging, averaging just under 90, a 4-0 win. But I don't think she'll care about the average as long as she's winning. Forty-three. Well, Veronica left to finish here. Dita, you're quite 20. Was the highest one, but Dita's first on double 10. Make the score 1 0. That's a bit far. Still two does to go. Double five. No. No score. That's the wrong side of the wire. So Veronica, Veronica you comes here. 170. The big fish. Not to be. Thirty. Only thirty. Dita so Dita Hedman returns. Another three darts in hand at double ten. Dita, who has won over 200. Game in the second leg. Dita Hedman. Excellent double ten there. Yep, over Third 200 Dita, tournament to victories first. in her career. Game on. Dita Hedman. Would love to add a third win more World Masters to that magnificent list. She has restored parity in this one. One leg all. 45. Try that again with the mic on. Yes. <laughs> Talking about the 200s ranking titles. And she gave up darts for a lot of years. Indeed she did, yes. So, yeah, it's unbelievable, is it? It's, it's just amazing. I and mean, we, We've known for many, many, many years how good a player Dita is. First lady to beat a man in a televised darts tournament when she... Played at the UK Open many moons ago. And the quiz question was, who was her opponent? Aaron Turner. Exactly. Mm. 42. Sorry, Aaron, if you're watching. 
Nicole Renault has won her second match, a 4-0 victory once again. So 66. She's played eight legs, won eight legs. Not bad at all. Marlena Klipsch of Germany, who was finalist in the Dutch Open girls competition seven months ago, eight months ago. Something 100. Like yeah, some, some months ago. She is five. Ah, S yes, see. Six. That's right. Six. Check. It was six. Six <laughs> months ago. <laughs> Unfortunately for Marlena, she has 85. lost her first two matches by four legs to one, both against Czech opposition. Anna Halavova, who I can finally say her name, and Anna Votavova. You're practicing your Czech mm. names, I guess? Joe Clement has won two from two, only dropping one leg 81. in the process. Priscilla Steenbergen has won two matches, 4-3 and 4-2. Mikuru Suzuki. 4-0, 4-0, two fantastic victories for the former world champion. Also two great averages, an average of 81 and an average of 78. Yep, absolutely fantastic stuff. Group no. AP, Yitka Cizarzova, 4-0 winning her match. And Karolina Risova, 4-3 winning her match. Talking so about this match, Nita needed a big score. He was 70 points behind in this leg. 66. It's unlucky with the last Dita dart to leave. 93. Still a three dart combination. But Dita's first on 93. That's in. Double 18. I think it's in. It's always difficult to see with the points that she's using. Wobbly points. That was a wobbly throw with that last one. Veronica, you require 99. So where is Veronica going to start? She's going to start down, so 80 left. That's Could all. it be tops, tops? Oh, well, goes the five route. Well, it's not. Well, there's on the, thir <laughs> on the third and hardest, normally my route as well, most of the time. <laughs> Dita, you require nine. And mine, I can't lie. No, that's why we're referees. Indeed. But it's big one for double four for Dita to take the lead in the match for the first time. Game and it's there. Seven, the third leg, Dita Hedman. A 2 1 lead. Fourth leg, it's the number one two seed. first. Game on. Another player that myself and Nick spoke about, about being a possible 100. dark horse for this. Irina Armstrong of Germany, a 4 0 and a 4 1 victory. She goes marching on. Rashna David, 4 0 victory in her first match, 4 2 in the second. Another lady of Norway who appears to be qualifying from the group. 100. Kasumi Sato has defeated Denise Cassidy by four legs to two in what was the standout match of Group AY. Both averaging around Nine. about 65. Yuki Sakaguchi winning her first match. I think she's back on at the moment. Playing Rosella Cristiano. Lorena Riefbergen, 4-0 and 4-1 in her first two matches. Should be going through, as should be Christine Hyde of Scotland, 4-1 and 4-2 in her two matches. Vanessa Zaidema, 4-2 and 4-1 in her first two matches. Should see her through. Yep, the results coming in thick and fast. Lindsay Ward winning her first two matches four legs to two 83 should be enough to see her through yeah we play on a lot of boards of course a lot of boards in the main hall yep so around 2 30 dutch time we're gonna start with the men's competition in six, 64 groups so the men's are warming up at the moment in the other other hall here in this big mm -hmm. venue in a bond weaver it's 32 practice boards it's not very many tournaments you go to where you have 32 boards to practice on. 180. And a maximum for Dita. And applause from the crowd. <laughs> yeah, a few people just uh, 
some supporters, seven. some players not currently playing or marking their matches, just 78. relaxing in the chairs, just watching the darts on the stage. As okay. Dita, yep, goes for 78, yeah. 20 for tops. That's a fat 20, so double 20 for a 3-1 lead. 58. She oh. comes back. Veronica doesn't, she didn't find a scoring power, which you find in the first couple of legs. Yep. Currently needing a taxi to get to a finish. 45. So Dita, Dita as many darts as she 20. likes at this. Double 10. Gains that's the fourth leg. that's a it's perfect Dita double. Yep, magnificent first dart. Fifth leg, it's Dita to throw first. A break of throw. Game on. Yep. So and now throwing for the match. Yeah, so Dita is looking in a good position to go further in the knockout stages. I see some, we're looking 60. at the results on Dart Connect at the moment. How good is that to see all the different flags from all the countries? Oh, it's, it's fantastic, amazing. it really it's is. It's amazing, isn't it? You see groups with Japan, Hungary, New Zealand. It's unbelievable. It is, it's fantastic. 36. Normal, normally at WDF tournaments, you see from few countries like England, Scotland, Wales, Holland, Ireland. It depends where it is, of yeah. course. But now, yeah. yesterday, the f I came into the hotel. Well, we came together in the hotel. The first people we saw were people from New Zealand. Mm. It's like, yes, hello. <laughs> that's that's why that's why we love the World Masters yeah, so much. Yeah, the World Masters is so good. So many people from Japan, Canada, United States, even people from South 43. Africa, Uganda. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It is. It's crazy. Just having a look at some of the scores that are currently in play. Vivka Riemann in an old German affair is currently three legs to two 60. down to Lena Zolikoffer. And her sister, Lisa Zolikoffer, is 2-1 down in a moment. Yes, to Anna Forsmark of Sweden. Lorraine Hyde, 3-0 up at the moment. Saskia Roth, our Liechtenstein player, 2-0 up. Vanessa Zaidema, 2-0 down to Barbara Hospodarska. Kirsty Hutchinson is 1-0 up on Bet Cunningham of the United States 24. of America. And she needs the win because she already lost one in the group. Yes. Needs the win. Sophie McKinley, former World Masters girls finalist, has just gone 2-1 up on Madison Mercer of Canada. Ross van der Velde, the Dutch Open girls champion, 1-0 up on Samantha Ponak of yeah. Canada. And... Rose is playing now, and her brother is playing later. Indeed, yes. Jürgen van der Velde, who did really well in development tour this year. He's not playing in the lakeside qualifiers because he is having a tour card for yes. next year. So Indeed he does. This is his last WDF event. I talked with Jürgen a lot, and he said, I have to play this. It's only 50 minutes away from, my, from his house. So <laughs> It's all right for some. It's really nice that... The former youth champion of the windmill. Mm. That he can play play his final WDF event just around the corner. Definitely. So you have people from New Zealand and people from 10 miles away. <laughs> 140. New the guy from New Zealand does more hours than Jurian does minutes. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Bo Greaves is back 41. on board one. She is currently 1-0 up in her 76. match. As Dita goes 76 for the match. Yes, that's a treble five, so 61 left. Should go 25, possible treble 15. She goes to 25 route, so double 18 and a 4-1 win. Yes. Game shot and the match. Dita Hedman. Outstanding recovery from a wayward first start for Dita Hedman, but it's a great... 4-1 win for Dita, adding that to her 4-2 win in the first match. And Dita Hedman looks to be qualifying from Group AB.